candidate is a postulant for one year and wears a blue veil. During this initial period of formation, the postulant learns the basic elements of her new way of life through instructions, study, and experience. At this time, the charism comes alive in her life. After postulancy, the candidate becomes a novice and is given a copy of the Rule of Carmel and the Constitutions. This is a period of intense preparation for vows. When the novice enters more deeply into Carmel's life of prayer, she studies the three vows of chastity, poverty, and obedience. She prepares to give herself totally to the Lord. Papal enclosure is strictly observed. This means that the sisters remain within the precincts of the monastery grounds, leaving ordinarily only for medical reasons. Just as an inventor, a research scientist, a composer needs the silence of apartness from the busy world, so the contemplative needs the silence and solitude from worldly activism in order to give herself to her sublime calling. A sister's family may visit for two hours every month. The frequency depends on the stage of formation the sister is in. Following the novitiate, which lasts for two years, the novice makes her profession of temporary vows, renewable for five years. During the time of temporary vows, she remains in the novitiate and continues her studies and formation. Throughout the formation period, a formator closely accompanies the candidate in this spiritual journey. If the junior professed sister is ready for solemn vows at the end of five years, she makes solemn vows of chastity, poverty, and obedience under perpetual enclosure until death. After pronouncing her solemn vows, the newly professed sister signs her handwritten document of her profession on the altar offering her entire life as a total gift of love to our Lord. After those fruitful years in Carmel, a sister is called upon to render an account of her life before her Maker. At the end of life, each will be judged on love. The souls of the just are in the hands of the Lord. No torment shall touch them.